Walk off. Walk off. Anime lady fans and jobless people out there, we're here to do Legendary Dash here. Cinnamon Man. And what are we here for her to do here, Sam? To do a jobless reincarnation episode four reaction. But wait, let's do a reenact reenactment right now. Yeah, just like during COVID times, huh? <laughs> just like many of us you should during COVID time right now. <sighs> We're here for jobless episode four, <laughs> emergency family meeting, and I don't know what the hell's gonna happen in this episode, but if there's more creeps, um, cheeks being clapping this episode, I'm gonna be goddamn like, yo, this is a married couple that are fully active. They're fully sexualized. I and mean, totally couples, couples weren't that kind of active during COVID times when they just stay indoors or sort of thing, huh? Huh? I mean, I mean. Hey, so anyway, guys, we, this is this uh, anime content friendly kind of channel in a way, kind of, kind of. I did say kind of, uh, but yeah, um, we love doing jobless reincarnation, and I have know a that hell of fun time. They, I enjoy. They, do, they they really are a no holds barred kind of anime, which makes sense because they premiered during midnight their their Japan. time Japan time, meaning they get it their own twelve a.m. time. We get it our 11 a.m. eleven a.m. time. Yes, yeah, so yeah. like. So basically, we wake up to this kind of anime where, oh, okay, morning it is, all right, morning action it is, all right, okay, cool. That's how some guys actually like it, like morning activities, in that sort of way, more than at night. But yeah, anyway, guys, hopefully that we're gonna keep you guys enjoying this. <laughs> Happy you like, this comment, entertainment. And subscribe, subscribe, and press that bell notification, subscribers. Please subscribe to us if you like kind of like this kind of entertainment of comedy. Let's let's just go straight to our. I'm just saying this might not be the only time we'll be doing this throughout the next couple episodes, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, girls pregnant again, bro? Have you not been listening every single night? Oh, well, okay, cool. Grow that family. Damn, you pregnant too, girl? Yeah, that that's why this is the most um intense. Yeah, that is understandable. That is the most correct reaction to have. Yeah, because who else will be the father other than the only guy in this household? Exactly, and ain't not Rudy. It ain't Rudy. That's an awkward moment. Both girls are pregnant by the same dude. It's more of intense moment, bro. Because you have to accept the fact that your husband cheated with the maid. And the maid is pregnant with his child while you are also pregnant with his child. Like, man, like, use protection. Like, if you're going to do something stupid like that, use Bro, this protection. is back in the... This is, like, medieval times. Right, they pull out. No they as- pull out. That's a simple thing. Pull out. Not that hard. <laughs> Not that hard. Really? You want to tell that to some other people? <laughs> It's He's true, trying to bring though. the positive out of this. But it's hard. You're making wow. things worse. Wow. Wow. Bro, bro, he got to expose them out right there, bro. <laughs> he can throw him under the bus. No, He's no but this, this makes I the know. most sense, though. Like, But it's very hard to accept, though. Yeah, in a way, yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, F the same guy. So what can you do? No, you blame the guy for being effing you. <laughs> you about to get your ass kicked tonight in the bed. <laughs> no, I mean, you can't throw him under the bus. You threw him under the bus. Makes total sense. You were jealous of the urges that she kept getting and the cheeks being slapped. Yep. Oh, okay. whoa. Okay. okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Um, she whoa, really but did then, like, she, she, he peeked on you, though. But she did it on purpose. She could have closed the door. Yo, they was born almost at the same time. <laughs> yeah, bro. They, yeah, they're literally like brothers. Just literally the same t- around the same time. Okay, well, bring that back. Bring that back, bro. Yeah. Yes, she seduced him, but in a sort of way, she, he kind of seduced her first when they first kind of met. Bro, that's rape. Wow. Yeah, that's not a good thing. North God style. Okay, I'm interested in this. He's advancing all three? Damn, he's skillful, skillful then. 
But you don't get mad either by kicking your son, damn. No, it's more of a de- defense reaction. Damn. Oh! Great shade. She Damn. had your wife and That's a family? low blow, bro. That's a low blow, bro. That is low blow territory. Of course, you have to speak the same language. Yeah, what woman? My man, you're, you're kind of scum, kind of too. Whoa, whoa. Why do you whoa, sound like a player? Whoa, whoa. So his father is an F boy, he's a fuck boy. He is definitely an F boy, definitely for sure. He's still just, and he's just like you. <laughs> he's biased at me as well. Wow, he got caught by Ro- he got caught though. Roxy knows. Oh, he actually goes and grabs as well. My dude, that's sexual harassment. And my man, you getting burned. You know what? You deserved it. <laughs> he got caught, bro. <laughs> He's like, damn, how does he know? Panties, the holy relic. <laughs> they mm. both kick him like, yes, ask him anything. <laughs> they both kick him Ooh. again. <laughs> Same spot too. He's really grown up though. And he's making smart he decisions to- too. He wants to work at seven years old, bro. Oh, that's a girl. That's a no. So that's a woman. A beast woman. <laughs> He's so confused. What's going on right now? I don't think he was told. Now we're serious. Are they still the fighting father and son right now? Mm-hmm. He's using all his magic and spells. Into his advantage, which is very good in real combat, though. In real combat, this is useful. But he also has to strike against his father. You have to wait till he slips up. Oh, that but speed, accuracy was amazing. It, it's impossible, though. Then he did as to knock out his son. Hello, beautiful beast woman. Oh, yeah, working together? Did he just send his son out to work? Forcibly? Basically, yes. Remember, this is what Rudy wanted, a job where he can earn his tuition from them. But, you know, at the same time, it's not appropriate. It doesn't make sense for you but to why work he... someone else and stuff that way. Well, wow. that's the end of the live reaction of another booty, 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 booty. Cheeks clapping because this man found out and got caught slipping because not one. But two women are pregnant in the household. And you know what was wrong with that? Because guess what? There's only one man in the household, so they cannot look at Rudy. Like, damn, you boy, you're seven years old. You got a woman pregnant. No, six years old. Technically yeah. six years old before he even born. So, my, so, my boy is shooting blanks. The boy cannot even shoot at all. And you want to say that? You want to say, no, yeah. no. So they, they knew who to stare to. They said, damn, dad, you cheated in the same household with the maid. It's always a maid. If you guys have seen soap operas or telenovelas, like Spanish or Korean dramas, it's always the maid that gets F. It's because the husband cheated. It's always like that story. But in the same time, like, the the maid seduced him, I yeah. guess, in this sort of situation. But, but, but in a sort of way, they both kind of they grew up with each other. They trained together in that sort of way. And she lost her virginity in a way that technically called rape because that's sexual harassment where she just went Bro, to Bro, she did it in her sleep. No, he did it, did it in her sleep, in her sleep and bullshit. Yeah, so overall, like, it was both their fault, but then they, Rudy helped her and save her ass because she was she was about to get kicked out in an in understandable perspective because the mom is the kind of the man of the house. Like, she was in a position where you could either be kicked out, but right now it's no season and everything, so she can't really do that because if she does that, well, it was also because Ru- Rudy is great with talking, and he, ha- he convinced her that save the maid it's your husband's fault let's throw him under the bus because we know you're not gonna throw your husband out of the door anyway so i mean that's not a bad deal because the maid was not gonna survive in the environment yeah. of her by herself even after the baby was been born she's about to give birth and they don't want that to happen and then you're trying to give her another month to get to her hometown she wouldn't survive and oh yeah so then Rudy gave that good explanation. Like, hey, I'm going to have a brother and sister either way. So that's a beautiful thing. So she like, them, don't blame the maid. Blame daddy. Daddy did this wrong. And so I was like, yeah, wait, what did daddy do? What did he say? Like, um, She spread her legs. And she said, if you don't do that, you get out of the house. And that, yo, know, his face was like, but but that was not me. Uh, was like, boy, shut the hell up. I'm like, okay. You, you, did the, you did the deed. Get the hell up. You did the deed already. So And you caused this consequences. So. But 
it was pretty interesting. I like how the fight um at the end of the episode. I love how the fight mm-hmm. happened between the father and the son. Really nice real life type of life experience. Yeah, work. this is like uh, if you realistically, this is like first kind of official fight. It's not a yeah. sparring contest. It literally was a whole one on one fight because his father explained it. If I try to tr- tell you that you have to, we give we value you a job. You have to go away for a long. You got. You have to go away for a bit, and you're not gonna see selfie for a long time. Would Would you have agreed to it, or would you have like find some kind of village job and raise the money? You have not improved your swordsmanship. You have not improved your magic. There would have been exactly no growth at all. But the animation was beautiful. It was nice. It was skillful. But the father. It shows that he is the lord of the village. He is like the one that's... He's the protector. He's the yeah. protector yeah. of the village. Yeah, protector because it showed that he used God, Scott, um, God skill and also he said... I, I'm water happy. God Scott. Water yeah. God skill, which but, means it's like moving your body like a... Like, yeah. be, like, be, but, be like water. Be like yeah. flowing and everything. But, yeah. I'm happy he admitted saying that I'm happy this is a wood sword because wood sword because it shows that if he this was a real sword, he would have technically killed his son. So shows, oh, yeah. Well, he has more shows, experience and knowledge yeah. and training. So, so it shows how very skillful that was and is. So I'm really happy to know that the story now is getting progressive. And yo, that beast woman, I call dibs. That beast woman looks freaking goddamn beautiful. But yeah, that's a whole entire conversation. Yeah. We will anyway. cover that even more. But definitely for sure. Um, so there was some animation weirdness. I mean, like, I know like when they're doing the etchy or seducing part when she was cleaning herself kind of that was, was some weird me. Anim- it, it, it kind of did a little bit it's like there's some really I, weird animation I, into this. I, I understand why it wasn't perfect because remember like you said before in the, you, the video you can't it, you can't show too much and you can't show detail, it that yeah. well yeah so that's why but I, like but at so least her action came like yeah no i keep hearing you you know giving your wife the good and then i couldn't even help myself and then i end up having to do you i mean i mean that means doesn't that mean he kind of he has kind of a good D you kind of thing you know, sort of you take the have, you could control yourself you could walk out <laughs> go outside take a stroll outside while they're doing the stuff or you know approach them like hey can I get a different room can I go live downstairs like could have been like hey Rudy you want to go for a walk I don't want to hear this much longer any yeah. longer <laughs> but overall this episode is amazing guys so this was entertaining any last thoughts here before we go. It did kind of. It did a. It did the best. I think it did a good. Okay, on the family drama for sure. Well, it was like, good, yeah. For like a telenovela, they could have. They would have done more, more drama into it. But remember, this is an anime, and we want to. What? We we want to progress the animation story. This is all about Rudy and his progression of his new isekai life. So that's the entire thing I want to bring up. So, so I think that'd be the best way to end it here. So guys, so let us know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. If you want to see the full Patreon VOD, patreon.com slash anime lately and like the video, subscribe, get us to 10k subscribers. Thank you guys very much. And press that bell notification every time you want to be notified every time we upload our goddamn videos. Other than that, see you guys the next time and clap them cheeks. Peace.